Okay, so this is this is going to be a an exercise of importing a table. Uh, so let's say that somebody sends you a table with uh, x y coordinates, and you need to import this to see it in a map. So what we're going to be seeing is a couple of files uh, from NOAP uh, that were sent to one of your uh, fellow students. Um, so these are the two files that were sent. One of them is a CSV, which is comma separated value file. And the other one is a .deg file. Whenever you're not quite sure what these uh, files are, what you can do is simply open them with a um, text editor or something like that. So in my case, I can open the notepad and I'm going to open the uh, .deg, this is the one. And then you can see what kind of information the file contains. Um, but uh, the, the other table is this. Um, it's information about one of the species that Noah Perlut is studying. And first thing that I want to see is what the table contains. So I can see that there are some fields that have some latitude and longitude. If you can see here, it seems that uh, what the software he uses, um, which I am not 100% sure what it is, but I'm guessing that those might be some geolocators, is generating a list of statistics about the latitude, like those uh, frequencies, uh, those latitude and longitude, uh, minimum, uh, median, mean, etc. So. In order for me to know exactly which one am I gonna use, you know, it would be good to read how this information is generated, but simply because I don't know uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to maybe use the mean, which is this one, and the mean latitude and the mean uh, longitude, which is right here, okay? Now I have to always check my columns or my, um, yeah, my fields. So the first one is empty, so I might just give it a name, which is going to be the ID. Uh, seems that these are all unique values. Uh, then I'm going to take away the dots because this is going to cost me a trouble. So I'm going to select, go to find select and replace the uh, period, the dot, and then I'm going to replace it with nothing. So it found 40 replacements. I'm just going to close it. And now I'm going to make sure that my fields are OK and that ArcGIS Pro is going to be able to read this information. So you can save this. Uh, keep using the comma separated value uh, format. I'm going to close this. I'm going to say don't save it because I know already. I already save it. I might also change the here this period. I'm just going to change the name. And now I'm just going to go back to my RGS Pro. I have already created a project, so I don't have to, to do that, but you already know how to do that. So I'm just going to add the data, go to the place I know this data is. So I have it under NOAA data, and here it is. It's a comma separated value file. I'm going to add it here. I'm going to open just to make sure that I can see all my information. So it's right here, okay? So now I'm gonna visualize this information as, um, I'm gonna display, sorry, this information as X, Y data, which X is longitude, Y is latitude. So I'm going to click on that option. First one is saying, okay, your input table is uh, the file that you're showing that you can see here the output feature class is going to be saved in the geo database created with the project. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it just like that right now. And then X, Y fields. So the X is the longitude. So I'm gonna look for the mean longitude, which is right here. And the Y is the mean latitude. And I don't think we have a, another uh, dimension, which could be elevation. It doesn't seem like it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to click OK. And here it is. So these are the points that I have. I can close my attribute table. Pretty amazing. Um, OK, so I'm going to save it here. Now, this is a, a layer, databases 
and uh, the geodatabase of this project, you will see that here it is, uh, the file, okay? So it's ready to use. You can remove this comma separated value if you want. You don't have to, but that's how you do that.